Okay, I'm going to try to complete this video within 10 minutes. Okay, I'm hoping I can do that. But I want to speak briefly on women body shaming dudes. And I want to send this warning out to a lot of females on social media that's body shaming men. Now, this is an image. The image you see in back of me is an image of what looks like a yam that was posted on Facebook. And this woman, a Titan woman, had put on her post PTSD, right? And you had other women that were, you know, laughing and was talking about how small it is. And she said that this is how her ex looked. Now, I questioned her and asked, how long would you were you with your ex? And she gave me like five, I think it was five or six years. And I'm like, so you were with him. You must have loved it. And she said she was in love with him. Now, along that string of comments were other females that were bashing their ex and were saying that this image looks like their ex, right? Tell you women something about body shaming. When men start body shaming you, don't cry victim because there's a lot of things that men could say about women that we don't say. All right, because we know how sensitive you guys are. Now, women, they wait until they break up with a dude and then they want to talk about his private part. And even females and even on Instagram, I see females posting images talking about how small their ex is and how small this dude is and this dude's penis size and this dude got this and this guy got this. And they're laughing and making fun of these guys. But there's a lot of issues that we can talk about, like cellulite, overweightness, right? Uh, stretch marks. You know, there's a lot of things that we can talk about with you guys, but we don't. Now, that's not a good thing to really brag about. That's really nothing to brag about. A man's size is nothing to brag about because. I just got done watching a video on TikTok where this female was talking about most men are small. And she was laughing, saying, all right, I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Both men are small, right? So be careful with that, because when you say most men are small, that means you must have been with a pretty high number of men, right, to know that these men are small, right? And what does that say about you? And if you can't handle an average size man if you're bigger than down there than an average size man what does that have to do with you because you got to realize that women push babies out of that hole right a lot of y'all push babies out of that hole and you stretch that baby stretch you guys out of shape and you know that no guy can really please you so you guys turn to toys there's women that that buy toys, dildos, right? That's like real large, right? That would go up inside them. And you and you stretch yourself out with these toys. And then when you get ready to be with a, a natural man, he can't satisfy you. And the only thing you can do is try to shame him when in reality, the shame is on you. I'm going to share a quick story with you because I'm only trying to make this under 10 minutes. Back when I came out the military, I met this young lady and she was in the church, right? I wasn't in the church, but she was in the church. I was, I was back in my player days. I'm an old school player, right? But back in my player days, I was with this woman and she had like seven kids. I found out later on she had seven children. Now, keep in mind, I'm in my early 20s, right? And she was younger than me, right? So she was in her early 20s as well. But she has seven kids, right? Attractive young lady, got with her. After we got to know each other, we was petting and touching. You know, you know how we do that thing, you know, touching and petting and brothers, you know how we have to test it out, you know, with the fingers and and so I got two fingers in there. Like, well, it was kind of spacious. Three fingers, four fingers, put my other hand there. I got both hands up in there. 
both hands. And I responded and said, Dad, who been up in you, King Kong? She started crying. And she said that no man, every man that she met was not able to satisfy her or she wasn't able to satisfy the man just because of the fact that she was so large down there. And even if a dude is heavily endowed, he would still swim inside her, right? That's how huge. And I'm assuming it's because of when she's pushed them babies out, especially at a very young age, she pushed those babies out, seven kids. And it, it, it stretched her out of shape to the point where she couldn't have a normal relationship with a guy because of the fact that she was so large down there. And that's not even out aside her. That's not even talking about the smell that a lot of y'all have when you don't properly take care of yourself that men don't really talk about. We don't say it, especially if a woman got a smell down there. But back to that woman. But yeah, she she couldn't satisfy. But last I heard, she got married. But what she had to do, though, she had to go get surgery done to kind of try to stitch that back up, you know, kind of close it a little bit. She had surgery to take care of that because she couldn't have a normal relationship because she was too big down there. She was too stretched out of shape. You know, after pushing seven kids out of there and only God above knows what else she was doing, maybe with sex toys or whatever, stretching herself out of shape and she couldn't have a normal relationship. So when you females are on there talking about men penis size and your exes, just think there's a lot of things men can say about you. Stretch marks, cellulite, the smell, overweightness. There's a lot of things that men can say to body shame you, but men don't do that, right? Just like women. And I'm being polite and kind by referring to you as a woman because normally I would say females, right? But women don't do that, all right? Women don't do that because... When you start firing shots like that at men, guess what? They can fire shots back at you. Don't take that personal and don't get your feelings hurt. So feedback, tell me what you think till next time. I'm fearless. <laughs>